Hey guys, it's Mr. Boyd. In this lesson, I want to teach you how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Remember, pause the video anytime you need to, or rewind if necessary. Make sure you get a full understanding of the topic. Okay, let's begin. If a quadratic equation does not factor, we can solve it by two different methods. Completing the square or the quadratic formula. Here are the steps to solve by completing the square. Step 1. Move the constant to the other side of the equation. Here I've added 7 to both sides to get the constant on the opposite side of the equal sign. Next I'm going to complete the square by adding b divided by 2 squared to both sides. Here I took 4 and divided it by 2 and squared it and added it to both sides. Next, I factored the left-hand side. So I ended up with x minus 2 squared equals 11. Next, we're going to take the square root of both sides, which gave me x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11. Next, we're going to isolate x by adding 2 to both sides which left me with x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 11. I then took the square root of 11 and found it was 3.31. Then I simplified that by doing 2 minus 3.31 or 2 plus 3.31. So my two solutions are negative 1.31 or 5.31. Okay, let's move on to our first example. First example is x squared minus 6x equals 16. So the first thing I'll do is add 16 to both sides to move that constant across. Next, I'm going to take b, divide it by 2, square it, and add it to both sides. So here now I have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 25. Next, I'm going to factor the left-hand side. So I have x minus 3, quantity squared. Notice the 3 comes from half of the b term, and the minus sign comes from the b term. Next, we'll take the square root of both sides, leaving us with x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5. Then we'll add 3 to both sides to isolate x. That leaves us with x equals 3 plus or minus 5. So to simplify that and get my final solution, I'll do x equals 3 plus 5, or x equals 3 minus 5. Simplifying that further, I get x equals 8, or x equals negative 2. Okay, for our next example, we're going to complete the square on x squared plus 22x plus 21 equals 0. Now, if you notice, you could factor this one, because 1 times 21 equals 21, and 1 plus 21 is 22. But for the sake of today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and use completing the square on this one. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is move the constant across the equal sign by subtracting 21 from both sides. This leaves me with x squared plus 22x equals negative 21. Next, I'm going to take b, which is 22, divide it by 2, square it, and add it to both sides. This leaves us with the result of x squared plus 22x plus 121 equals 100. Next, I'm going to factor the left-hand side. Notice that the 11 matches, and the plus sign matches. 
Next, we'll take the square root of both sides. What you'll get of is x plus 11 equals plus or minus 10. Okay, the next thing to do is to isolate x by subtracting 11 from both sides. And then we're going to simplify that by finding negative 11 minus 10, which is negative 21, negative 11 plus 10, which is negative 1. Okay, so here's our next example. x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So to begin with, I'll add 5 to both sides giving me x squared minus 2x equals 5. Next, I'll take b, divide it by 2 and square it, add it to both sides, leaving me with x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 6. I'll factor the left-hand side, giving me x minus 1 squared. Notice the minus sign comes from the b. And the second term of the binomial is half of b. Next, we'll take the square root, which gives us x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. Then we'll isolate x by adding 1 to both sides, which leaves us with x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. Taking the square root of 6, I got 2.44 approximately. Then I'm going to simplify that by doing 1 minus 2.44 or 1 plus 2.44. Simplifying that further, my final solution is negative 1.44 or Okay, let's take a look at our next example. x squared plus 10x minus 4 equals 0. So again, I'm going to add 4 to both sides to move the constant. Divide b by 2 and square it. Add it to both sides. Then I'm going to factor the left-hand side. Notice the plus sign matches the b term. And the second term of the binomial is half of the b term. Take the square root of both sides. Then I'll subtract 5 from both sides to isolate x. Next I'm going to simplify by finding the square root of 29. Then I'll simplify that by finding my negative 5 minus 5.39, negative 5 plus 5.39, and getting my final answer of negative 10.39 or 0 0.39. Okay, now notice this one the coefficient of x squared is not 1. To do completing the square, the coefficient of x squared must be 1. So we're going to start off by dividing everything by 2. That gives us x squared plus 4x minus 8 equals 0. Now we'll just proceed with the process of completing the square. So we'll add 8 to both sides. Take half of b square it, add it to both sides. Next we'll take the square root of both sides, and then we'll isolate x by subtracting 2 from both sides. Simplifying that, negative 2 minus 3.46, or negative 2 plus 3.46. I end up with my final result of negative 5.46 or 1.46. Okay, let's take a look at another example. 
x squared plus 8x equals 11. So subtract the 11 from both sides. Half b and square it, add it to both sides. Next we'll factor the left hand side. Take the square root of both sides. Subtract 4 from both sides. And we're going to leave this one as negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 5. In many cases on your end of course exam you're going to see answers like this where they don't actually take the square root of 5. Alright, we're going to take a look at one last example here where the coefficient is not 1. So as with the other one, we're going to divide everything by 3, which gives us x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Next, we'll move the constant across by subtracting 1 third from both sides. We'll half b, square it, and add it to both sides. Don't forget 4 is 12 over 3, minus 1 third. I went ahead and factored the left hand side. Simplified the right hand side, got 11 over 3. Next I need to take the square root leaving me with x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11 over 3. So I divided 11 and 3 and took the square root and found 1.91 was the answer to that. Simplified that by doing 2 minus 1.91 or 2 plus 1.91 and simplified that further to find my final answer which is 0.09 or 3.91. Okay guys, that concludes this lesson on completing the square. As always, hit the subscribe button to get to see all the other videos that I created. Thanks guys. Hope this helps with your homework.